A shocking video from a local wrestling tournament is going viral on social media. Now, the Oak Park Police Department's involved. The video shows two wrestlers after a match with the loser sucker punching the winner. WGN's Dana Revick spoke with the victim and has the latest on the new police investigation. It's very uh, grueling with nutrition and practice um, and learning how to come back after defeat. I'm just so proud of him because he works incredibly hard for something that he loves. Jillian Hill's 14 year old son Cooper is a two time state wrestling champion competing in the 125 to 128 pound division. On April 8th, he was at the Beat the Streets tournament at Oak Park High School with his team out of Spar Academy in Aurora. He had won the match by tech fall um, and when they came to the circle, Cooper extended his hand to shake his hand and um, that's when the assault happened. Cooper in the orange and gray singlet goes in to shake his competitor's hand. Then the Maine West High School student punches him in the face. I remember there was like a stinging in my face and I balled up. I checked for blood. I looked up to see my stepdad and my mom. They were there checking me. Cooper's had very um, intense matches before um, but nothing of that sort of level. The Hill family called the police and after discussing what happened, have decided to file criminal charges. When we see these things happen, we need to take them seriously and get children the help that they need so that this will not continue. The Hills also tell us USA Wrestling has suspended the wrestler involved for a year. And I think the suspension will give him some, some time to like really think about what he did wrong. And um, I, I don't wish any like bad things upon the family. I don't wish anything bad for him. I wish the best for us them. Um, I think the suspension is should help clear their minds up and make him act right. We reached out to the Oak Park Police Department and a spokesperson says they are investigating this incident, but so far charges have not been filed. Maine West High School District 207 says that they feel this video is disturbing in nature, but beyond that, they do not comment on non-school sponsored events and activities. In Sandwich, Dana Rebic, WGN News.